Our objective is to create an inheritance hierarchy that encompasses various types of 2D and 3D shapes, including at least five additional classes of shapes. First, we need a base class for all shapes, which we can call shape. This class will have common properties and methods that all shapes share, such as area, perimeter, and color. Next, we can create two subclasses of shape, two-dimensional shape and three-dimensional shape. Two-dimensional shape will have properties and methods specific to 2 minus d shapes, such as length, width, and shape type e, g, rectangle, triangle, circle. Three-dimensional shape will have properties and methods specific to 3 minus d shapes, such as volume, surface area, and shape type e, g, cube, sphere, pyramid. Now, we can create subclasses of two-dimensional shape and three-dimensional shape for specific types of shapes. For example, under two-dimensional shape, we can have classes for rectangle, triangle, circle, square, and trapezoid. Under three-dimensional shape, we can have classes for cube, sphere, pyramid, cone, and cylinder. Each of these subclasses can have their own unique properties and methods. For example, rectangle can have length and width properties, as well as a method to calculate its area. Sphere can have a radius property and a method to calculate its volume. Overall, our inheritance hierarchy would look something like this. Minus shape minus two-dimensional shape minus rectangle minus triangle minus circle minus square minus trapezoid minus three-dimensional shape minus cube minus sphere minus pyramid minus cone minus cylinder. Of course, this is just one possible hierarchy and there are many other ways to organize it. The important thing is to have a clear and logical structure that makes sense for the types of shapes you want to represent.